Alright guys, check it out. We have another one to check out. We have quite the few pistols to check out. I've been gone for so long. I was like, you know what? Let's let's, let's check up on a couple companies and see how they're doing. I don't think we've ever reviewed a KJ. I don't feel like we did. And I have several KJ's works myself, okay? So this is, I think it's more behind the scenes and I think why I've never reviewed it on the channel. And the reality is, guys, look, these these guns for me, they were cheap. They were like guns I would lend to my friends and say, hey, you want to come play yourself? You come with me. Okay, here, take my KG Accelerator. I'm going to show you the Accelerator. Okay, I, I haven't found it yet in the garage, but it's somewhere. Okay, now I that's a gun I grew up with. I grew up with the KG Accelerator, KGW Accelerator, the Wii Tech Dragons, and then eventually I went to the TM... Uh, as the eagle and then i found the high cap and i was like oh we could get we could start upgrading you know and i went down that dangerous path i was like oh shit you know <laughs> but this is 155 okay i got it from wgc shop let's see so when i was looking for aep parts and i saw 5k you know i was like oh shit and then then this caught my attention i was like Damn, it's KJ work. You know, like how they're doing. You know, can I have? You have to remember. I'll show you the accelerator. That gun is ancient. Okay, <laughs> it's an ancient ass gun. And I'd always tell people, hey, if you if you were interested in maybe thinking about primary, like running the pistol as a primary, first buy a KJ pistol. Okay, be cheap. Buy a KJ pistol. And if you really, really like it and you want to customize it, okay, now you can go to TM or you can try buying the TM stock, but I'm not going to lie. The TM stock, guys, like if, if you end up like not liking it, it kind of sucks, okay, because you, you have to upgrade the TM, right? It's just a lot of the parts on it break. But anyways, uh, 155. Okay, you guys see that? Great deal. We're going to see if there's still the same KG works that I grew up with. And honestly speaking, guys, I, I have no doubt they're still the same wonderful company that I grew up with. Okay, I, I'm, I'm giving them high praise right now. And then, that's, yeah, look at that, look at that boy. It was a big gun, I, and I loved him. He shot great, it's a six inch. And you have to remember, I grew up playing at HSP uh, Combat Center, okay? So, com HSP Combat Center was 400 FPS. And it was a big field at the time I was playing. They eventually started introducing uh, HSB Combat Center, which was a smaller center. So, you know, at that point in time, I started liking, hey, you know, 4-3 is cool. Hey, Tiki, you know, all that stuff. So I changed. But KG Works was always just a reliable company for me. And they were cheap guns that worked out of the box, and they do the job. That's, that's where I always told people, hey, if you're interested in... And thinking about running pistols at the primary, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, and you kind of want something that will last you a good amount of time for the money, KG Works was the one I would always recommend. We was like, uh, you know, it's like if I had to place an order, like TM, TM High Gap is in its own category, because it's like, you know, it's not a gun I would use stock. Um, you know, you have to put money into it. That's the problem with it. They came up with a good design, and it's just money into it. These guys, typically speaking, aren't compatible with Tim High Kappa. High Kappa is in its own category. New Wii's, by the way, are completely, I know they're different. They're on like an NG3 system. They've changed their design. So remember, I, I, the only thing I can't comment on right now is I can't comment on if this is compatible with High Kappa stuff or not, but I'm gonna say based on history, probably not. Okay, so let's see what we get. This one I didn't actually get to check because this came from from the box. I don't know if I did the unboxing on here. Was it? Was it the unboxing or was this? Maybe this is the first one. Okay, we got a just magazine part. You can see pretty much simple design, same concept. We know this is. I guess this is the newest one they have. Okay. And look, I love KJ Works. They're, they are a great company. So I don't want people saying, hey, why do you never recommend or anything? It's because, look, this channel, guys, you guys know how this channel works. We're, we're looking at parts. We like upgrading here, okay? That's what we like. These guns, you buy them, it's kind of like um, KWA. 
KWD was the same thing. You kind of just buy it and you really don't upgrade it as much. You kind of buy KG Works and you really don't upgrade it as much. That was what it was. You're like, you're buying this gun if you're not someone that's like nuts about pistols. And you just want something to lend to your friend or you want a good gun that's just going to do the job. It's a bane for buck gun. That's what KG Works has always been. And I've always loved him for that. Uh, is it English? Let's see. Uh, seems pretty, okay, I don't see anything special, so, let's just check it out, nice little breakdown, let's just check it out, you know, we just want to check it out and shoot it, I don't know if we'll have a series on it, if we need to, if there's enough of you to say, hey, please do a series, let me know, but, no, honestly, I picked it up because I wanted to see how, how far has KG Works come, have they improved their stuff, have they... Uh, done anything different Okay, that's what I really wanted to see And you know what it's a nice another gun to have for anyone that, that comes to my place and shoot And this is how they have to ship it to California. I'm California We'll definitely get this stupid thing. Oh, I right, Yeah, what the, thank you All right, that's nice Uh Wow, this is, I gotta say, this is great, cool. Taiwan, Taiwan is just, man, in the last, I feel like in the last six, seven, eight years, they've just been coming in strong, like other companies are coming out. Uh, we're starting to see more upgrade parts come from Taiwan. Um, so I'm, I'm loving it. You know, I don't know if it's, a, if it's the same mecha, like a airsoft mecha, like Hong Kong. Cause I know one day I would love to go to Hong Kong. Okay, I, you know, get healthy, travel. I'd love to visit Hong Kong. I'd love to go to Europe, um, and just see all the airsoft parts in the world. It'd be great. And now I, I'd like to go to Taiwan. Cause I know they're just they're starting to pump out the stuff. The only thing is I don't know how the, um, I don't know anything about the Taiwan airsoft scene. That's something I don't know if I have a, like a like a friend friend. That I've been talking to that's like from Taiwan. I don't I don't know. I think most of my friends are Hong Kong and, and European and, and uh, Scandinavian countries. That's where most of them are. I don't know if I have anyone from Taiwan. But it's like I don't do they skirmish there? Do they do IPSEC a lot? You know, why why are they getting um more upgrade companies? Like I know Dr. Black is is Taiwanese, we got CTM is Taiwanese, uh, TTI Taiwanese. So they're starting to come out. Like if they remember guys. This wasn't around for me uh, as much, uh, you know, f five, six years ago. It was mostly Hong Kong uh, and, and China that were posting, uh, making parts. Okay, so tape is easy to come off. This, I think, you know, the other thing that grabbed my attention is one is KG Works, because I have nothing but good memories of them. And look, do to uh, parts break? Yeah. Uh, the only thing is replacing parts. Little little pain in the ass. Okay, that was the only thing I, I didn't like as much, and that's why honestly I've always said, hey, TM High Kappa is just so much easier because you could go to any store, you know, at the time or find something online really easy. It, it is just so simple to there's you know there's ten million companies <laughs> that are making parts for the High Kappa. And so when you're a pistol primary player, right, you need ease of access and you need affordable option to say you're just, you know, money's a little tight, but you still want to go have fun, but you can't fix your high cap. And if there's no affordable options that you can get locally or you have to order overseas and you have to wait, you know, uh, two weeks or something, that's where it sucks. So that's why sometimes guns like these are hard. Um, nice job, Tom. We're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna chrono it with uh, some propane. Man, I want to be proud about that. Nice, look at that. Wow, this feels nice. You know, we used to buy, <laughs> we used to buy their grips and we would modify them and put them on TMs because the grips were really cheap. That's what's really nice is this company is really, everything on here is affordable. The grips were cheap, the loading nozzle. I think uh, the funny thing is I just bought I actually bought a red KJW. We'd always say, hey, you want the red nozzle? And it'd, we would back then, it'd be like, you're buying the KJ, uh, is it still red? Okay, it's not red anymore, but 
I actually have a KJ Red nozzle up on my wall right now. I actually bought this some from e like this recently. Alright. Wow. Okay. This is light. This is surprisingly light. So these are probably casted, not CNC'd. Okay. To get down to this price point, guys, you, you probably most likely are just, what you do is you cast these. And you have to remember, they just pump these out. And the most important thing is, is that they do a good job casting. You don't want any bubbles inside of it or anything like that, because that will just lead to cracks and fractures down the road. I can see this rocket valve still looks the same. I wonder if their diameter is different. This looks great. Okay, I can see right now for 155 out of the box, this looks and feels great. Hammer strength is, it feels like a 130, 140 in that range. Maybe 150 pushing it, but it doesn't feel very strong, which I like. Okay, so you can tell they did probably test it. So this got that little frame dent. Well, I mean, the, the color is still on here. Look at the safeties. The safeties are sexy. That's okay, I'm not gonna lie. They hooked me in with new arrival, and I was like, hey, this looks good too. And like, you know, I want some extra uh, beater guns for my friends. Because I've lately been having a lot of friends coming over and like, hey, I want to shoot some guns. And I'm like, man, I don't have any guns that I work with. I have to rebuild everything. So now I have a gun that I can just kind of uh, throw at them. But I'm wondering if a lot of this is plastic, but like this is, like it's high quality plastic. It feels very nice. And I actually don't mind it being plastic. Now the question is, is how durable is this? Let's let's corner it. It looked like it was at half off, but let's make sure. We got two O's. Okay, that's yeah. All right, we got half hop up. Let's just do. Let's do. Let's do. Uh, okay, get everybody. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty. Let's go with twenty seconds, okay? All right. Let's get some tools in here. Oh. Wait, I'm stupid. Let's try out. Let's try out the. Uh, okay. Uh, let's try. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. It's new, so we'll see if it if it can handle it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me empty that out. Ah, uh, where is it? Where's my... Yeah, get over here. Oh my god. You know, I, I didn't finish the design. <laughs> ah, shit. Alright, let's, let's just, come on, get stacked up. That's the only problem is, look, if you got fresh mags, good luck. It, it's a spring design. Ah, oh, whatever, we got one misstack. So that's, that's the one problem that's that we have with this guy is it's fresh mags but, yeah that's a tough one because you need is something like i said you need something to, to to pull push at least give it a head start and i have to finish this i i was lazy now. i think matt matt gave me uh the idea so thanks matt i gotta i gotta take your idea and work on it <laughs> once i get a fix uh, once i get a fix i'll say hey credit to matt okay um, okay, do we need, we need some, I haven't even done that yet, okay, shit. 
Because I want you guys to see the action. I want to see the action too. Let me reach over. Let me try not to hit the camera. Okay. I'm hoping we can, uh, what's it called? I'm hoping we can uh, HPA tap this at least. That's the only thing I'm worried about. And I only have one mag. I don't know if it takes TM mags. I mean, it takes it, but I don't know if it'll shoot it. We'll put gas in these two. All right, we have a gutter one, which is, you know, basically TM. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We only just want to dry fire these just to make sure it can even take on the mag. Let me try to see if I can get a, a TM one. As we, where you at, buddy? I'm gonna stop hiding. There we go. Okay, TM. Okay, good. We got some gas in there. Are right, you guys ready? Let's see where this guy corner is at. All right, we got two O's. All right, first shots. Let's just do a double tap. This feels not bad. Let's see what the, the chrono is. We went down pretty fast, but we got, so we go from 345 to 317 towards the end. Man, that's, I don't know, that's a, that's a pretty quick drop. I wonder if we can upgrade the inner barrel. Alright, so average was 328 over... We got 19 shots. You could probably, you could probably, so you can get a mag out of it. The mag's pretty... Ooh, wow, that's... You know, uh, I saw somewhere, guys. I saw somewhere where they had... Um, they like they have like a like a, a a temperature gauge on here or something. I don't know if it was TM or something. I was like, oh, that's new. I haven't seen that. I'm hoping we can get to the point where we can reduce the cool down effect in in here. But I imagine that's going to be some like science science nerd shit, like big time. Because I've looked into the like that whole world, and it's just so there's so much information that I'm I'm definitely not. <laughs> my brain is too small for that to, to even understand it. The only thing I can understand is like the PSI, uh, the pressure, and understand I can understand why it's doing what it's doing. But my question is, how do we get rid of this problem? I would love the power, the consistency of HPA, but without the hose. Like I, I just I, I can't stand the hose. I'm not a hose person. I never will be. I love Max. I love reloading. Right? That's just it's so fun to me to do that. You know, like it's I love that. Okay, so yeah, the this is cold as shit. This after shooting, it's not that cold today. Alexa, what's the temperature today? Right now, it's 64 degrees. All right, Alexa, Fahrenheit. stop. 64. It's not that cold. This one, where is my... So that's the only thing I would say, but that's... Honestly, guys, this, you're going to have multiple mags. All right, let's just see if the TM... This is garter. Okay, it pushed it a little bit. Okay, that feels good. 
Actually, it feels a little bit strong. I'm surprised. Then we have to build these up longer. Look how it's really deep in here. Okay, how do you even... How do you take this off? This is actually kind of a little different. Maybe this... Okay. Okay, there we go. Hold it, make sure you don't lose anything because we don't know. Okay. It's held by here, we're okay. Maybe I didn't fill up properly. Cause the the glare one actually feels a lot stronger. Look how big the yeah. You know what? I don't think I feel it no problem. That's just a little weird. Look how big the window is. You guys see how big the window is? Okay. You guys want to shoot? You know what? Let's let's shoot the the TM Max. And I feel like if you ever buy this, but this would be. I feel like this company has always been good for someone that is. It's brand new the pistol and they're like hey man I, I whenever people hit me up they're like hey I'm really interested in my trying to run pistol as a primary I say you know here's here's your option you have TM high caliber but the problem is is it's you know it's kind of expensive and it's it's kind of you know it's it's kind of shitty like it's going to break pretty fast right so it's not a good bang for buck but the, the thing is is if you decide to upgrade it you have that route already and you don't have to uh, like to navigate over to that side but if you're like unsure you don't you know you're not like sure about your pistol nut and you kind of want something that's a bang for buck but maybe you have a lot of friends you could you want to loan something sometimes this is where you save money because you get the gun that's already ready to go you're not going to be upgrading this guy you're just going to leave it as is that's the whole point of this guy this is where kg works excels is you, you you lend it to your friends it does a job it lasts as long as you can and if you need to replace parts you should be able to find parts and this will you know i'll check online but i suspect with the kg accelerator i was able to replace parts for people locally it was easy e-bike always had most of the parts there to fix it and it was cheap you weren't paying freaking you know 30 40 50 60 70 80 dollars for certain parts cheap affordable so that's where I think this guy comes. Let's let's try out these guys. Let's just try a couple BBs in here, okay? <laughs> I put the wrong power here, guys. <laughs> Uh, this is the follower in here is for the ones for the real ones. I forgot to put the correct one in here. Okay. So they give you a plate if you want to mount a red on it. Would be sick. It'd be cooler uh, if it was a split slide. It would have been cool. But still, still nonetheless, very cool. All right, we have team up, uh, TM. Okay, let's try TM. Uh, these weren't full loads, but let's just shoot anyways. You guys should be able to see that. Look at the light. I know the light's always blinding now. Like, I, I flooded the whole area with light, but now it's like, damn, some of it I can see now it's like too much light. Because it's just glaring, but... Three twenty six. Okay, so we got a couple shots. All right, cool. TM works. We had three twenty two. I'm gonna turn it on and off. On uh, how how long do we fill that up? Not that long, right? We have five shots with the garter. Okay, gutter works. 
315 and you saw that expelled a little bit of the gas okay uh we need you know who else we need we need we we have we right here okay we got some gas in here i don't know how much it is but we're just gonna shoot it anyways We probably need to take the base plate off. Yeah. Take the base plate off, guys. Remember, four threes are not going to work with magwells. Um, you know, unless you modify them. All right. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I can cover? Uh, I'm going to go check the accuracy. So I'll go shoot it. I'll play around with it. And maybe... You know what we'll do? We'll do a second video. Okay? We'll, we'll definitely do a second video. What the hell? Let me check my other weed. Let me check my 50 rounder one. I feel like that one a lot of people have. This one's kind of weird. Uh, where are you at, buddy? This is HBA though, so. Yeah, okay. Ignore that, guys. This one's just weird. I don't know why this one's always. Uh, right here is what's causing a problem. It's not. Right, get out of here. All right, we probably works, guys. Let's try Proin. Okay, Proin. I wonder if the. Uh, KJ has mags. We should see the price of them, how much they cost. Okay. The three oh three. Okay. So what is this guy crumbling at? I'm gonna need to shoot it in the background. Let's take a look at it and see how long the inner barrel is. Cause it says it feels like a six inch bill, but I don't think it's actually six inch. We'll take it apart. Let's take it apart. Um, let's see. Okay, so we got a 1911 style hop up unit. Something stop him from me getting this getting this off. Is there another way? It's right here. This <laughs> this guy rod is heading here. So we need to probably tilt it. I have to like tilt it down, push out, and around. Okay, so definitely, definitely a little tricky uh, to take it out. They look like this is actually a machine. This is incredibly light. What is this? Is this aluminum? Guys, this is, this looks machined. It's probably casted and then seeing, uh, uh, it's probably, look, for the price point, guys, whenever you get something this cheap, it's the same with 5K, you guys. Whenever you get something that's affordable, you know, budget-friendly, they're not doing, you know, 
if you know if you don't need the machine like imagine like you this is the piece of like aluminum block they're not you know machine this whole thing in, into this so what happened is you you get like a, a generic shape that's pretty much almost done and then they just do the touches the finishing touches on it to get it to you know the shape and then you know have it nice and smooth and then they cut you know coat it um this is the very this is like it's surprising how light this gun is um Okay, you know what we'll do is next video we'll have we'll have a we'll take this apart. But I just it's not a gun you guys would take apart. You understand? That's why I don't want you guys to take this apart. If you buy this gun, you 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 play with it. Just play with it. Adjust the hop up to your you like. Oh, you guys see that? I don't think I changed that at all. Did it move on its own? I think it moved on its own, unless I really moved it. Okay, we'll we'll consider that. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I, I did it on accident. It's typical. All right. Yeah. Let's take let's take this out. Let's take this out. Because if there's one thing you wanted to upgrade, and maybe say you wanted more FPS, you would upgrade the inner barrel and bucket. That's the first thing you do. And I think else everything else you would leave alone. You're not going to really want to touch anything else on here. This is incredibly light. Let's see how much this weighs. And look at this. Look from top down. You can see where they reduced. Look at that. Look how narrow this is. It's a beautiful slide. I like how cool this looks. Um, it's really. It's so confusing. It's like a. Like this is plastic. This is plastic. This is plastic. Frame is metal. trigger is metal it looks like this is an adjustable screw so you can adjust the you can adjust the trigger I think this is just for looks it's not a natural screw these are metal blowback unit is metal loading nozzle is plastic Let's see, okay, so they that I recognize. That's the old well it's it's probably newer, it's probably updated. I'm wondering if the loading nozzles are the same. Alright, so we're doing the slide with their blowback unit. What's weird is this unit looks like TM almost. Okay. One hundred and seven point one. 107.1 grams. That's actually really light. It's a little sluggish, you know. That's maybe. Well, you know what? Next video, what we'll do is we'll turn on the HPA and we'll test it with HPA. It's a little, little sluggish. Maybe the mags are. Cause I, for how light this is, I expect it to be a little bit snappier. Maybe there's some things we can do to improve it just a little bit. But once again, guys, this is it's like a gun you just you buy and you just you, you lend to your friends, okay? I forgot what was I supposed to do. Oh, we're supposed to take this out. All right, I'm sorry. My brain's already running in 10 million different directions of what we can do with this or should we? Because the reality is, you, you know, the TM High Cap has the most support, okay? You're not buying this because you're trying to customize it. You know what I mean? It, it'd be foolish to do that. These guns are great for people that don't want to, they don't want to touch their shit. Just, you know, running the ground. But I can say right now, if your hop-up move, if like, the only thing I can say right now, if the hop-up wheel did move on its own, and maybe I'm crazy and, uh, you know, no, I'm not crazy and I didn't, I didn't actually do it, then we need to work on that. That's probably one small fix we got to do. Okay, so you take out the screw right here. I think you should be able to pull it out. Okay. Uh, it's definitely longer than uh... yeah it's like five one length it's not even a six inch 
We're just taking. Okay, yeah, it's it's yeah, even the stock AAP. It, even the stock AAP is uh, longer than this. That's why the stock AAP shoots harder than this guy. Um, I would actually upgrade the inner barrel. It's weird. Just look at their hop unit, but this looks really close to TM style. All right, sure. All right, guys, bear with me. <laughs> let's let's just let's just let me go get a. I have a a a, a power barrel. Okay, let's just see if a, a power barrel works. They have these screws. These screws. Look, I can tell you, they they don't mean for this to be taken apart. These screws have uh, glue on them. <laughs> they definitely have glue on them. I don't know if you guys can see. They have glue on them. So definitely relock tight it when you guys are done. Yeah, this is like <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys can see. There's there's glue on them. It almost looks like uh, yeah. Well, ah, damn, damn, what is, okay, well, okay, they probably do that for extra stabilization, but look at it, you guys see the grooves right here, there's an extra set of grooves here, no, yeah, I, I don't have a lathe, okay, I don't, I can't put that kind of cut on here, look at the hump of unit, I should, okay, you get, oh, there, you can be able to see it, yeah, see it, look at that. Damn. Uh, it's just it's one of those cheapy, uh, cheap aluminum. I don't like aluminum uh, barrels. Okay, I just I don't. I always prefer steel. Until I've been, you know, can be. Uh... Yeah, this is this is pretty different. You guys see? Let me let me I'll, let me get a nine ball for you guys. And I'll show you right now. Where are you guys, buddy? Of you right here. Oh, let me bring. You know what? Actually, let me bring this over instead. These guys, I love these inner rails. That's a lot longer too. 165. Uh, these are TNT. Yeah. Taiwanese, great company. These guys, great budget. Uh, Great budget barrels. Oh, guys, look at that. Nice weight to it, heft, rigid. Yeah. Damn. That, uh. Yeah, it's pretty thick, too. But, okay, you guys see, but this is what I'm saying. This is like where KJW and these guys, you're not like, okay, you're not really, <laughs> you're not taking these apart, okay? That's just, that's the truth, okay? That's why I always will sh you know tell you guys that it's exactly what the reason I saved in the beginning. If you're like brand new, you don't know if you like pistols or not, and you're like, hey, you know, don't want to waste money, and I want buy. I have a lot of friends. Is there something you recommend? I'd be like, yeah, hey, get this. And if you don't like it, now you have something to. You have a secondary. You have something you can lend to your friend that you're not like gonna cry about they if they drop it and break it, right? Because you can get the parts for it. But if you're like, if you're like, mm, you know, I, I kind of like really like pistols and I kind of want to upgrade and, and deck it out and customize it, then I'd be like, no, okay, go to go to the TM high cap. Just, you know, remember, it adds a stock gun. It sucks ass compared to this. Like, I, if you were to say, oh, I have one gun forever and I can't upgrade it and I can't do anything to it, this is where this guy comes in, Okay. It's just th these are meant to be played with and to to be uh, you know used, and uh, <clears throat> really cool. I, I didn't expect to see uh, CNC work at least on, on on a budget gun like this, and like it's, they did a nice job here. 
like this outer barrel is actually really nice I wouldn't mind using this for like using it for something else but I don't I, I suspect that's not gonna be a yeah I think it it screws right into here so this is probably it's probably aluminum 79 grams 79 so this is why this this upper is just still light but can we I feel like maybe we could increase the recoil spray at the same time I don't know if I want to all right so guys the next thing I'm going to do is uh what we'll do next time <clears throat> next time is let's reassemble this and I'll try to th process my thoughts uh, probably put more lockdown in here because I we're probably you know I don't know if we need to do a breakdown do we it, look if there's enough of you that say hey please do a breakdown kind of like the DOR video I'll do a breakdown for you guys but other than that I don't suspect we're gonna need a breakdown I mean this is yeah even the bucking's a little different actually look at the bucking they have this little hook right here and it's a little thinner right here oh this is like a little is there like plastic in the bucking is this like a little clip? What the hell? Wait, what? Oh my god. That's crazy. Look, I've never seen this before. Look at this. Look at this. It's like a... Uh, there's an actual... Can we take it off? Okay, I kind of don't want to break it, but... You guys see it? How it's... <laughs> There's like an actual plastic ring on here. That's crazy. Cool concept. Okay, I like that. That's different. So probably what they did is you know this is pliable. They 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 push it over, and maybe it's to help seal it. So when the loading nozzle goes in, it's doing it. But yeah, man, I'm not gonna lie. We dropped FPS so fast. All right, let me zoom out. All right, all right. All right, uh, so look, if you guys say, hey, please do a breakdown, I, I plan on buying a gun. Hey, please do a breakdown, uh, blah, 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 just, just let me know. Otherwise, I don't think we'll need to do... Wow, look at that, they even have... <laughs> look at the uh, look at the hop of unit right here. They have a little spring and a little detent. To, it's kind of to keep it locked in place. So maybe, maybe I, you know what, with that being said, maybe I moved. Uh, you guys see how it works? Uh, oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, why did I do that? Damn it! Oh my god! All right, guys, I'm gonna have to 3D print that. Oh my fucking god! I can't believe I'm so stupid. I'm over here trying to show you guys on camera, and I'm like, oh, this is cool, and then I'm just, oh, I don't even know where the hell I flew. Ugh. Oh, see, I told you guys I was an idiot, okay? <laughs> oh, all right, I'll 3D print a, uh, a detent. I'll 3D print a detent, and that's spring. Like, the concept is pretty simple, okay? Or if I can find it, but I have absolutely no clue where that went. I will scour the the earth for it. Uh, so I'm gonna go suffer and cry about it after this, and then uh, and then once once I give up, <laughs> I'll uh, I'll 3D print it. Uh, it's not it's not it's easy. I'm not worried. <laughs> God damn it! What's the one thing I always tell you guys? Hey, if there's sprains, be careful. And my first thing, oh, hey, good, look at it. <laughs> God damn it! Just got my my new KGW, the newest one I've got in years. God, I haven't bought a KJW since the uh, the CZ, and that one is I love that one. That's a, such a great uh, one if you, especially if you, I can't get the real steel one. So when that came out, I was like, oh man, I love that one. That one's great. Feels nice, shoots well, and it actually has some support, but not much. I think the reason why it's got support is it's, it's Ipsic guys. Ipsic guys are like, hey, make some shit. All right. See, okay, now the wheel can move. Ugh, yeah. If I, look, it, I'll just, you put, I can also put an O-ring. By the way, there's an O-ring right here. 
So it's nice and tight going in here. You can feel it. So which is good. God, what a stupid move. Uh, part two, guys, what we'll do, I think for part two is we are going to, I want to see how it does with HPA. Maybe it was just today's a weird day or maybe it's a little cold, but it's not, it's not that cold. And I want to see what it actually chronos like consistently at. Okay, that's, we can see from the shots, we're like 320, but the barrel is like 112. It's like 112, 100, it's probably 112, 116 or 118. And it's just a, you know, I, I don't like the aluminum barrels, but you know, it's never, it's cheap, okay? This is 155 for a gun that works out of the box. Uh, I'd want more power, and you can sneak in, you can sneak in like another, Okay, so you could sneak in like a 130, 140 maybe. That would be pushing it. So you can't, this guy is too long. This guy's way too long. But I bet we could also probably just take off the comp and mod it. This will be, they needed, the only thing I think they probably could have added, and I know they had to lock it in, but they could have maybe moved this a little bit forward and then uh, put a little half moon in there to get this to be a little bit easier but you gotta be this is you have to kind of sneak this in all right so how do how do they want us to do this um yeah i can imagine putting a higher strength spring in here would actually be a pain in the ass that's a tight fit Jesus. I mean, you guys can tell me I'm doing something wrong, but other than that, maybe I'm stupid, but I'm not gonna lie. I actually might just uh, mill out a little slot here. That's the only thing I would wanna do. So, that's probably the only one area I would probably just to say dink him on that. Uh, other than that, less, is there anything else I can do, guys? This is a good looking gun. Lost a damn part. I gotta. I felt like it hit my head. That part is so freaking tiny. Shit. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm gonna stop here. We'll have a second video is we're gonna do HPA. And then maybe it'll give it'll give you time, guys, to come and say, hey, we want to break down. I just this is brand new. I think it literally just came out. It was on new arrivals. And at least now we're we're up to speed on KJ works. So uh, EMG, I have I have EMG Glock, I have the EMG High Kappa. So we'll be up to speed on them. We have got the GHK Glock, we have got the AEP. Uh, is there anything else we're missing? I was trying to just tackle like, because I've been gone for so long. I was like, okay, who who are the companies I loved as pistol air or something company? So let's check them out. So that was the main goal. And I think that's another reason why I was like, I was just, just inclined to buy it. It was like, I was already buying stuff. I was like, no, no let's just throw it in. So we got KG work. Um, we have, look, we have the, uh, oh, what am I, I'm blinking out. Okay, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out later. Uh, let, let me know if there's anything else I need to do. Next video, we'll do HPA. I'll try to fix the, the hop-up unit or try to find that piece before. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, yeah, I see you guys around.